If my advisor would challenge me straight away, what's in the literature, what questions are being asked, what questions have already been answered. Being forced to know those things required me to really delve into the literature. There's a lot of research that has to happen before you can build a really accurate model, and that's where the library really came in. Having access to journals like Polymer and Biomaterials were critical. The actual data manipulation that I was doing was all based on processes that I had learned about by reading a lot of literature. Doing the literature search was really helpful with coming up for a model that I came up with in my conclusion. I spent so much time in the library finding a lot of articles, a lot of journals, books describing parts of cell growth and being able to translate that into a mathematics model. I began the project by doing a literature review on the past 37 years of data concerning Jupiter winds, Neptune winds, and Uranus winds. I would not have been able to create the algorithm to analyze Jupiter's winds if I hadn't read the literature. Well, most of my research was in engineering and orthopedics, but I had to step into the chemistry world and use the chemistry databases. You can do a literature search and find a gene that's similar in a yeast, and then you can make a hypothesis based off of what the gene in that other yeast is doing, and then hypothesize. Maybe this is what's going on in my fungus. By reading all that literature, I was able to understand when to use a certain algorithm, in what situation, how those algorithms were applied, how the data was manipulated. Library research was a constant process from the beginning to the end.